Another way to describe a data set is to use the five number summary. And the five number summary is made up of, oh, shocking, five numbers. So what are those five numbers? Well, the first one is the minimum. And the next one, if we go in order from left to right or in numerical or uh, ascending order, the minimum, which is the lowest value. And then we come to something called the first quartile. And lots of times you'll see that called that, that uh, written as Q1. And then the next one is called the median, which is the middle number. And then we get to the third quartile. And finally, we get to the maximum. So there is our five number summary, the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. By the way, the median is also called the second quartile, okay? And what the quartiles do is they break your data set up into four quarters. So the values from the minimum to the first quartile, there's one group. And then from the first quartile to the median, or the second quartile, there's the second group of numbers. And then you've got the third, from the median to the third quartile, there's the third group. And then finally, we go right here to the maximum. And so that's why these are called quartiles, is because there's four quarters in a, in a dollar. Okay, there's four quarters in a football game. So the quartiles divide your data set up into four pieces, okay? And the second quartile is also called the median. So how do we find these? Well, it's pretty easy to find most of them. In fact, three of them we uh, can find very easily. So let's start with the minimum. The minimum is the data value with the least amount of the, with the least value, and in this case, that is one. The minimum, in this case, is one. There's my minimum. The maximum is another easy one to find, and that is the data value with the greatest value, or the data point with the, data, the, the largest value, and that's 15 in this case. We're still using the same data set that we had from our previous videos, the number of times Mr. Mays has watched the original Star Wars movie in a year since 1977. So there was one year where I watched it 15 times. I think that was leading up to episode one. I wanted to watch all the original trilogy a bunch of times and then uh, before I saw episode one. But um, there's the minimum and the maximum. Very easy to find once you put the numbers in order or once you put your, your data values in order. Okay, the median we found in the last video when we were looking at the measures of center and we found that the median was four. Okay, so the median is four. Now, knowing where the median is is also important. And as we count here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 values. So if I go to the 17th value, there's going to be 17 numbers on the bottom half and 17 numbers on the top half, and that's what the median is. The median splits your data set in half. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right here is the middle of my data set, right there. And in the last video, we took these two values, the 4 and the 4, and when you have two numbers in the middle, you find the mean of those two numbers to find your median. In this case, four plus four is eight. Eight divided by two is four, so there's our median, okay? Now let's find the quartiles. The first quartile is the median of the bottom half of your data set. Let's type that in here. Q1 is the median of the bottom half of your data set. And to go along with that, Q3 is the median of the top half of your data set. So there we go. 
That's how you can find the first and the third quartile. So I'm going to take the bottom half of my data set. I will highlight that in green. There's the bottom half of my data set. And then here's the top half of my data set. I do include, I do include the, the four since it was split down the middle. Okay, I include the four. And now I find the median of the bottom half. Well, there were 17 numbers. So let me go ahead and just start marking these off. The one and the four, the two and this four. And I just continue to mark off values on e either end, as long as these numbers are in order, numerical order. And as I continue to do this, I will find the median of the bottom half. There it is. The median of the bottom half is 3. So that is my first quartile right there. Let's do the same thing for the top half. Let's start to mark off numbers 4 and 15. 4 and 8, 4 and 8 again, and just continue to do this until I get to the middle of the top half, and this time it is a 5. So right there is the middle of the bottom half, or the top half, excuse me, and there is my third quartile. Now I have found my five number summary. The minimum for this data set is 1 first quartile is 3, the second quartile or the median is 4, the third quartile is 5, and the maximum is 15. That is how you find and that's what the five number summary is all about.